Hello everyone, this is Jay Bongo here, a uh, slightly better angle than last night. So, I wasn't joking when I said this was going to be a more, more active series, and I'm going to warn you right now, it's going to be a little bland, because of, like what I talk about might not appeal to everybody, but that's fine by me. Anyway, so what I did, what I'm going to be doing more regularly, if I didn't explain it clear enough in the last video, is for 30 minutes, both sort of, sorry, something popped up, sort of in the day at some point, whether it's the morning or the afternoon, I'll be walking for 30 minutes. And I have this area in my driveway, it's like an apple tree, a dead apple tree in the middle. And I'm kind of going, going around that like this over and over and over and over for 30 minutes. It's kind of light work, to be honest, but the way I'm trying to make it at least a little bit more challenging is for, th as I'm doing, one, I'm doing it for 30 minutes, and two, it's not like I'm just regularly walking. What I'm doing is sort of like a stomp. I'm almost like angrily stomping around, around that tree over and over and over. Um, so I might not get instantaneous results, and I'm not looking to, but I am sort of like, see, I'm all sweaty right here. <laughs> yeah. But I am like hoping to gain some results, at least a little bit better. I, I, my goal is to be at least even a little bit better than I am right now. But, <laughs> um, it's not that tiring, but today, um, Today it's like a warm sort of afternoon, a little bit. It's a, it's a little bit warmer than what I'm used to for November. So while I was working, I was sweating. I was like, "Ooh, wait! It's supposed to be a colder month. That's supposed to be easier to work out in." And the reason why it's sort of easier to work out in a month like like November or December and when it gets cold is because when it's colder out, your body tends to like perspirate a little bit less. Um, but you do have to have water on you if you're doing walks like that. So, that's that. Um, I guess I should offer some tips on if you're doing something similar to this. If you get uneven terrain, like if you get, if you're walking, for example, when I'm going around, around there, like, over and over, there is a part of it that has some uneven, it's like an uneven slope and some road that is broken a little bit. And I walk through that all the same. So if you get uneven terrain or uh, uneven slope, don't be discouraged. Keep walking. The reason why you keep walking is because that's more ch that's even a little bit more challenge for you um, to get through each time. Um, and I find that that helps out a little bit. The reason I'm looking there is because I'm looking at that spot. Um, so yeah, if you want to keep up with it, if you're serious about doing something like this, you can't let a little bit of uneven terrain stop you. Go over it. Unless it's dangerous. If it's dangerous, don't. Because then you'll hurt yourself. So, this is going to be the one for the day. I'm going to do another one of these at night. So, after I'm done that night, eventually I'll probably do a vlog. Though that'd be a kind of a long vlog, to be honest. I was thinking of doing like I was just thinking of doing a vlog where it's like I'm balding in the um, like while I'm doing it like but it's 30 minutes and even I'm not going to have just a video of me walking and going <laughs> for 30 minutes that's gonna be kind of awkward um, so that's about it that's all I wanted to really talk about um, I'll see you guys later tonight um, I have been Jay Bongo, you have been awesome, and I hope you have a wonderful day, stay healthy, stay alive, and I love you.